Hi. So I'm out of my broodmare pasture and we've got Jade there and Jade's little baby is called Harriet. Harriet's an Irish sport horse. Um, so I had got a question, I think it was from somebody called Julie and Julie said, when will, so as Julie said, she's in recovery. When will the incessant thinking about her body stop and so she says that her brain's always just drawing her attention to her body body shaking I guess is part of that but part of what Julie wrote was you know it seems like every two minutes my brain's just decided that I should scroll through my photo feed and um, compare myself from how I looked a couple of weeks ago the thing is is that your brain can make the suggestion that you do that if you then go and take the action of opening your phone and looking through the feed and doing the comparison thing, you just, I don't want to say rewarded, you just reinforced the notion to your brain that that was something that you should do, which makes it more likely that your brain will suggest that you do it again. And so you, your brain will only stop, I'm just trying to get a little Harry in there, she's so cute. Your brain will only stop making that suggestion that you take part in that action when you are consistently rejecting that suggestion that your brain is making and there's rainy night <laughs> they all swap places so if you're still you it's it's self-discipline self-control then then the first bit which people with eating disorders are just excellent at honestly if you are still acting on those suggestions that your brain makes that you engage in body checking body comparison all of those things your brain's going to continue to make those suggestions the way to break the chain is only going to be by actually not allowing your brain to engage in those suggestions and i get that it's difficult to start with but that's what you got to do if, if you want to have that freedom where your brain doesn't do that anymore you've got to teach it not to <laughs> that's really what it comes down to because every time you allow yourself to engage in those behaviors you're actually teaching your brain yeah actually i should do that so oh hi bailey <laughs> i've got bailey and minka behind me now um so what was i saying yeah so you you've got to teach your brain to behave the way you want it to you kind of got to you create what your brain does if your brain is giving you a thought or suggestion it's because you have taught your brain that that's important to you and that that's what you should do and so if you want to teach your brain not to be obsessed with your own body you need to stop acting like you're obsessed with your own body all right i'm gonna go now bye